Welcome back to my little channel. Now it may be because I'm stuck at home for quite a while. It may be because other things are pressing down on me in a way that I did not think would affect me as much. But it seems that I'm rather melancholic lately. Don't worry, I'm in no threat of self-harm or anything like that. But I am worried that we in the Western world do everything we can to ignore the lessons of the past. Now, not so long ago, I once again was made aware of a poem. The poem is In Flanders Fields, which is a poem written during, published at the end of the First World War, written by a Canadian soldier. I think it's John McCree, but I could be wrong. I do know that the poem has had some revisions before it got published anyway. Um, and when hearing this poem, which Sabaton actually put out on one of their uh, CDs not too long ago. When hearing that, I have to admit that tears came to my eyes. Because it is difficult to understand that we allow ourselves to go wrong as far as we have gone. Now to all of those people out there that seem to think this means we have to be negative towards people of other cultures or whatnot, I think you are missing the point. The point is not to be negative towards others. The point is to realize who we are and to understand where our heritage comes from. But never let reality get in the way of a good storyline, right? Anyway, this is a sad poem. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky the lark still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amidst the guns below. We are the dead short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw, the torch be yours to hold it high, if you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. I have to admit that the words in this, to me, are pretty strong. They brought a tear to my eye and a creak in my throat, so to speak. But funny enough, this is not about just picking up the torch. This is about protecting what we have. To whom? No, not to whom. Not from whom. Mostly for whom. We protect it for ourselves. For our offspring. For the world we inherited and leave behind. Does this mean we have to fight others? No, 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 it doesn't. It means we have to stand up ready to defend. Now, obviously, the First World War was a war between factions. There were the Germans and the rest. And the intrinsic politics of the First World are far too broad to merely mention in this video. So I'm not going to. However, the point remains that those who went before us gave their torch to us so that we could progress and we're not progressing now don't get me wrong this is not me saying oh well we should close down all the borders and leave Johnny Foreigner out of the country no that's that's not it at all but if we let people into our country and I think we should 
we should also let them into our culture. And if they, for whatever reason, feel that our culture isn't good enough for them, then the question should be raised as to why they think our country should allow them to stay. Our culture isn't good enough for them, then why did they come here? To bring us their culture? But isn't that an act of war? Now, don't get me wrong, I have no problem with people from other countries coming here and sharing their culture with us. And then we can pick up what we want and deny what we do not want. But at the same time, they should pick up our culture as well. If that's not being done, if we are being told to to reinvent ourselves just so that we can be friendlier to those who come and live with us, then the problem isn't the fact that they want us to reinvent ourselves. The problem is that we allow them to exert that much force on us. And we seem to have forgotten that those that went before us gave their blood so that we could have the culture we are having. And it doesn't mean that our culture is perfect. But we should surely think twice before we are okay with giving it up. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And criticism as always is more than welcome. And I hope to see you all next time.